All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at another form input control, and that's the picker. Okay, so picker is basically like an advanced select list or drop down. So first thing we're going to do, uh, you can see that I have this picker component I created, and I use the boiler component um, as our boilerplate code. So I'm going to bring in up here picker, and we're going to go down into the render. And let's go above the text and we're going to put in our picker like that. And in our state, what I'm going to do is create a category. Okay, so we'll say category and let's set that to technology. And then we're going to go down to the picker and in here we're going to define, let's see. Actually, you know what we want to do is this needs to have a closing tag. And then inside here we'll have the items. Okay, so we'll say item and we can actually go like that. Give it a label. Say technology and then give it a value. of technology. Okay, and we'll add a couple other items as well. So let's put business and let's do, um, I don't know, I'll say cooking. All right, now let's see, this needs to go here. Okay, so let's save that. And now you can see we have this where it says technology. You see we have this little arrow here. If I click that, we get this pop-up with the different choices. All right, now what I want to do is make it so that when we pick a choice here, a category, it changes the state of our category, okay, or the category inside of the state. So what we can do is let's add a selected value to the picker. So we're going to go in here and we're going to say selected oops, uh, selected value and we're going to set that to this dot state dot category. And then we're going to add uh, an event handler of on value change. And we're going to set that to this dot on value change, which we'll create. And we also want to bind to it this. And we're going to pass along category. All right. And then right above it, let's add that on value change. Okay. Now this is going to take in key value and let's just do a console.log and let's log the key uh, and then we'll concatenate colon and the value all right and then we just want to change the state so let's say this dot set state and we want to change the category to the value that's selected and then where we have this text right here let's display the category so we'll say this dot state dot category and I'll put some text before it we will just say selected category all right so let's go ahead and save that all right so you can see that it says selected category is technology and that's coming from here. That's our initial state. Now, if I go to change this, let's choose business. And now you can see that the text box, this has changed as well as the selected category. So we've changed the state, the category state to business. So that's how the picker works. Now we do have some other properties that I can show you. Uh, for instance, there we can add a prompt or a heading to our choices. So if we go and we say 
prompt and we can say category and if I save that and then we go and click the arrow you'll see now we get this cat whoop clicked it again we get the category heading or prompt up at the top let's see what else we can add we can do uh, we can disable it by saying enabled obviously the default is true but we can set that to false and now you'll see that it's grayed out and I can't do anything with it okay I'm just gonna set that to true though uh, we can also set the mode so the default mode is um, dialogue which has that little pop-up dialogue but we can also set it to drop down so that it works more like a regular select list so now if we go and click whoop, I think it has to reload again oh I said model should be mode and now you can see we get a drop down all right so I think yeah that's pretty much it that's the basics of the picker component all right so that's it for this video and I will see you in the next